Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a really quick and easy laksa soup. We have this quite often and both Chris and I and the kids love this meal. So I'm really hoping that you guys will all enjoy it too. Like I said, it's a quick and easy 10 minute meal. So perfect for weeknights when you're in a rush. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to get the hob on and then I've just got some oil in here that I'm going to heat through as the hob heats up. Once your oil has heated through, you're then ready to add in your diced chicken. So I've just got three chicken breasts here that I've just sort of sliced through and I've cut them into little slices like that. Pop them into your pan and then just brown them off for a couple of minutes. So once your chicken has browned, you are then ready to add in your laxa paste. You might think this is cheating, but it's definitely not. I think it is winning and it is also a mum hack as well. This makes your cooking so, so quick and easy and it's got everything in here that you would ever want to add into this dish anyway. So I'm just using, I'd already used half of this jar in another meal. So I'm just gonna use the other half that I have got here and I'm gonna give that a really good mix in so that all of those delicious flavors soak into the chicken. So what I've got here is just some mushrooms that I've diced up. So I'm just gonna throw these into the pot as well just for a couple of minutes so they can kind of sweat down a little bit before I add in the rest of my ingredients. I honestly think cooking is all about finding the small wins and I think if you can use like a paste or a sauce which will help you cook a lot quicker and a lot wiser then it's definitely worth doing. Like I said it's not cheating, it's a mum hack. Okay so I am now ready to add in my veggie stock. So here I have got 800 mils of veggie stock that I'm just going to add in. I have put some boiling water in with this veggie stock because that just speeds up the whole process as you don't then have to sort of bring it up to the boil once you add it into your soup. And I'm also going to add in one tin of coconut milk too. It is now time to add your udon noodles. So I just buy these ones that are straight to the wok. You get two portions per pack. So because there's four of us, I am going to just use two packs, which has got four portions in total. Right, now those are in, I'm just gonna break them up a little and then I'm just going to pop my lid on to my pot and I'm just going to let that cook away for about three minutes. So after your three minutes is up, your soup is looking and smelling absolutely amazing. The last thing that's left to do is to just add in your chopped up pak choy. You just want to add this in for literally two minutes just so it can cook through a little but you still want it to have a little bit of a crunch to it because I feel like that just adds a little deliciousness to your soup. So like I said, two minutes and then it's ready to serve. <laughs> And that, guys, is your 10-minute chicken laxa soup. Absolutely delicious and a must try. Let me know if you give this recipe a try at home and what you think of it. Thank you so much for watching today's video, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.